Well, where are you guys? I'm sitting here waiting for a 35th anniversary season to begin. Did you get this in the mail? I am so excited. And we're all here getting ready to get the season back up and going. And this is our 35th anniversary season. And I'm so glad that we're gonna be back in person at the Mac with an amazing season ahead of us. And I just wanted to tell you about some of my favorites that we have coming up um, this season. We start out with an art show by the incomparable Tony Fitzpatrick. He's a Chicago-based artist. Um, he's world-renowned. He has works at the Metropolitan Museum of Art and all around the country. But what makes Tony so special is he's actually a COD alum. He's also an actor. He's a radio personality. He's an incredible author. And he's gonna come here to do what he says is his final museum show. Now he'll still be working as an uh, artist and an actor, but this will be his last official museum show. And he said it's like coming home and coming full circle. And we're so excited. And if you haven't seen any of Tony's art, you're gonna absolutely love it. And this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to see so many pieces of his work all here together. So come out in October to see that. And then right after that, we open up the season with Mike Super Magic and Illusion. And if you don't know Mike, what I love about Mike is Mike is part illusionist, part mentalist, and 100% comic. He is one of the funniest comedians you'll ever meet. And he is a great show to bring everybody in your family to because he relates to so many ages and people love him. You might have remembered him from America's Got Talent, where he was a huge winner and a big fan favorite. Next, we have A New World by New Philharmonic Orchestra. It's Dvorak's um, concert. And what's unique about this, it's all about melodies that are unique to American melodies. So you're gonna recognize a lot of the music from this. And I think one of the best parts about this show is the guest artist, David Taylor. He is uh, a principal at um, the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. He's one of my favorites ever. He's an amazing violinist, and he will be performing at that show as well. Next up, we have the Texas Tenors. Everybody loves the Texas Tenors. The Texas Tenors were big winners on America's Got Talent. They've traveled the world. And I think they're like, uh, the best way to describe them is like Americana meets opera. They sing America the Beautiful. They're, they sing a lot of beautiful patriotic songs in four part gorgeous tenor harmonies. And um, they're, they're wonderful and warm and, and it's a great show for the entire family as well. Then BTE opens their season with a one man show called Stove Toucher. So a lot of you may know Kurt Nabig. He's a director and an actor, and he's part of the BTE Ensemble. And he wrote this one-man show based on his own life. And, and it's a really um, interesting story about how he evolves as a person, his struggles with addiction and overcoming them, and uh, how he was an incredible skateboarder and always a big risk taker, hence stove toucher. And, and Kurt has a great sense of comic timing and you will really love this intimate evening with Kurt Nabig. Then we have your good man, Charlie Brown, coming home for the holidays, which is great for the kids, and we're so excited to finally um, bring back uh, musical theater, and this show is very special. The college theater students did this show last year, and I came to the filming, and I was so impressed with the work they did and the set that they had, and I asked the director, Connie Kennedy Howard, do you think they'll be home for Christmas? Could we put this back together and show all our audiences this? And so the whole cast is coming back together again for a wonderful production of Your Good Man, Charlie Brown. Then we have everyone's favorite, The Second City, that's going to be home for the holidays in a show called It's a Wild, Wacky, Wonderful Life. And they always have funny, crazy, zany humor. And it'll be all new stuff along with some uh, archival material back from the ages. And what I love about Second City is you come see one of these shows and five years later you'll see one of those actors in the show on television starring in a movie or in a TV show or in a commercial. Um, Second City really is the best place for talent and comedians and they always have such a unique uh, relevant twist and so I, I highly, highly recommend this show. Now 
for that show, it's not for everyone. It's not for children because anything goes with the Second City and you never know what might come out in an improv set. Then the Nutcracker will be back. Our Nutcracker is done by Salt Creek Ballet. And what we love about Salt Creek Ballet is it's your traditional, um, uh, when you think of the Nutcracker and you think of all the children in the show and you think of the lavish sets and the beautiful costumes and all the details, that's what you're getting in this show. You are getting the most beautiful, opulent, traditional version of the Nutcracker and you're getting it with a full orchestra. The new Philharmonic Orchestra accompanies them and it's an absolutely exquisite performance. I know uh, our tech director and I went around and saw lots of different Nutcrackers and we decided this is the best one and we're so proud to have it. Then we wrap up the new year with New Philharmonic's New Year's Eve concert. It's a Pops concert, complete with confetti and a champagne toast. And what we love about um, the New Philharmonic Orchestra is it's such an engaging orchestra and they make it fun for everyone. And New Year's Eve, you'll hear a movie theme and you'll hear classics and you'll hear Viennese Waltz. And then, you, of course, everybody will sing together and do Old Lang Syne. And it's a wonderful, um, classy way to bring in the new year together with family and friends. New Philharmonic then starts the new year off with A Night at the Movies. And Kirk Maestro uh, Muspratt, who's our conductor, has pulled out all the stops. And he has gone through and found his favorite movie themes. Um, and he will put together a beautiful evening. And you'll hear music from Steven Spielberg movies all the way to maybe a West Side Story and movie musicals. And it is sure to be a huge hit and they'll have amazing singers, usually from the Ryan Opera Center, that will just knock your socks off. So do not miss that show. I'm really excited about The Greatest Love of All. It's a tribute show um, starring Belinda Davis, and it's a tribute show of Whitney Houston. Now, sometimes when you think tribute show, you're like, what, a tribute show? This one's really special. This comes from London. Um, it's, it's really been very well curated and put together, and she, she will just blow you away. The technical aspects of this show are first class. Her voice is phenomenal. You will not believe your ears when you hear and see her live. I saw the show in New York, and I was blown away, and I know for any of you who were born uh, in the time period I was born and grew up in the 80s, it will really bring you back, and it will bring you some great memories, and it's an absolutely stunning show. Then BTE has a show called Naperville that, that will be performing in the Playhouse Theater. So Naperville isn't about the city of Naperville. However, it takes place in Naperville, Illinois, in a caribou coffee shop. And it's really about community and the people that go in and out of the coffee shop and how they affect each other and impact each other and it's a beautiful story that I know you're going to enjoy. And that's coming up in January. And then in February, we have Piaf. And Piaf the show is a show about Edith Piaf. And it is with a woman who is actually from Paris, who stars in the show. And when uh, Edith Piaf's best friend saw her perform, she said, she, she started crying because she said, that's her. And this story, um, it premiered in Carnegie Hall, and it's beautiful. It goes through her whole life and shows how she went from rags to riches on the streets of Paris as a street singer to fame as the Edith Piaf that we all know and love. Um, with that passionate voice, she'll sing the songs, La Vian Rose and all your favorites. Um, and it's a stunning show with uh, a small band on, on stage that perform with her, and it's absolutely mesmerizing. I know you're going to love this show. It's very, it's, it's, it's definitely a concert performance, but it's absolutely very theatrical in how it's done and how it's all strung together. Second City comes back for the best Valentine's date in town. Um, if you want to do something fun and break the ice, it is the perfect date night show, and after the show, we have Fannie Mae chocolates for everybody, but there's no better romantic thing that pulls somebody in than having a great laugh together and then going out for dinner afterwards or before the show. So please don't miss that one. And then one of my favorites, the Bodines are coming back, and we are so 
thrilled that we got them to come back. Last time they were here, they sold the place out. It was a huge party all night long and everybody loved them so much. And so for our 35th anniversary, we said we have to get them back and they said they'd come back. So don't miss that one. And speaking of parties, now we're gonna go south of the bayou and we're gonna celebrate Mardi Gras Mambo. And um, that show features the Dirty Dozen Bass Br Brass Band. And the Dirty Br Dozen Brass Band is known to bring in a lot of ringer guest artists at the last minute. So if you are a Mardi Gras fan, a Zydeco fan, a jazz fan, don't miss this one, because this will be a really outstanding show um, just in time to celebrate Mardi Gras. Then we have in March, Drum Tao. And if you remember, Drum Tao was here right before the pandemic hit and they had already moved everything in and the whole stage was filled with their equipment and the lights and the sound and everything was ready to go. And then we had to close the school down and we didn't know what to do. And I didn't want to just tell them, go back to your hotel because we were ready to go. And we decided um, to call our audio visual team and they came over and did a five camera incredible shoot of the show. And we streamed it live for everybody to see. And it was so beautiful and it was so powerful. And so many people said, when things get better, please come back so we can all support you in person. And I'm so proud to say they are coming back. And um, it means a lot to me that we'll be able to present them live because it's been a long time for all of us. And to bring this act back means, means a lot to us and our whole crew is just blown away with the talent of, of this show. So I know you're gonna love it. Bring your teenagers, bring your college age students, bring your young student friends. Grandma will love it. Everybody will love this show. You can't not like it. It's just a, a, a huge spectacle of acrobatics and music and passion and pulsating rhythms and beats and really do, uh, dramatic costumes. So don't miss Drum Tao. Then, right in time to get ready for St. Patrick's Day, comes Danu. And Danu is going to do a St. Patrick's celebration. They're from Ireland. They're uh, an Irish folk band that is really well revered and well respected. And we are so excited to have them here, actually right around St. Patrick's Day weekend, which is really hard to get. So this will surely get you in the spirit, and I'm sure we'll have some green beer at the bar. In March, ABT Ballet Theater Studio Company is coming. Now, you may not know who ABT Theater is, but I'm sure you know who American Ballet Theater Company is. And ABT is their junior company. Now, we would love to have ABT Company, but they would need a lot larger stage to do their show. So we are bringing the junior company, and they are phenomenal. And keep in mind, ABT Junior Company is who becomes ABT Senior Company. It's a beautiful show with magnificent dancing um, that's probably some of the best dancing on any American stage. It's one of the best American ballet theater companies that you can see. So if you have a dancer in your life or you love to see movement, you will not want to miss this show. Now, this show I'm really excited about in March, The Ten Tenors. So the Ten Tenors do everything from classic opera songs to Queen, yes, Queen. And, and they have such panache and such style, and they're not too bad to look at, I might add. And they're just so fun to watch. But it's sort of like a popera show. So if you like opera, done with a, with a little bit of a twist here and there, you're gonna absolutely love the Ten Tenors. Um, they have powerful, powerful voices and sing all your favorite arias, and then even throw in a, a little bit of contemporary music that's done in an opera style. And they sing all together, and it's absolutely gorgeous and very compelling. On Sunday, April 3rd, I cannot wait for that show, so mark your calendar. I will definitely be here front and center to see the incomparable Miss Heather Headley. So when you see Heather on stage, you might think of, when she started in Aida on Broadway. You might think of her uh, from when she was in The Lion King. You might think of her when she was in Color Purple on Broadway. You might think of her when you've seen her on television. But when you hear her sing, in the intimate setting she's going to be singing in with just a piano, and I had the opportunity to see her at a private show, I have never, ever been more compelled to watch someone start to finish than Heather Headley. She has a way of, of pulling you in 
and interpreting a song like no one else I've ever seen before. Um, she's not over dramatic. She's so simple and so subtle, but she's so connected to the music. And she has such a stunning, gorgeous voice. It will be something you will never forget. I promise you that. When people hear her sing, everybody walked out of that place going, I've, I've never seen anything like her. Um, she's, she's a beautiful spirit. She shares stories about herself and her life. Um, but the way that she interprets a song really pulls you in. And, and the power in, in her voice is, is just magnificent. And you just have to see it. You just have to see her sing. And we're so thrilled. I think um, this is one of my favorites of the whole season, without a doubt. Then in April, Kirk Muspratt and the New Philharmonic Orchestra are going to do a concert version of West Side Story. Now, how perfect could the timing be with the Steven Spielberg movie just coming out? It's in everybody's head. And when you hear a full orchestra performing the score of the greatest score of American musical theater live, you're going to be blown away. It's absolutely beautiful. And Maestro Muspratt has pulled together a beautiful cast of singers to get you through the show and carry all your favorite tunes from West Side Story and bring them to life. BTE closes out their season with the hysterical play, One Man, Two Governors. Now, you may know this show, and it might ring a bell, because James Corden made it famous. He starred in the original production, and, and there is a television play by it. Um, but this is a madcap, zany, really well-written comedy that you are sure to love. So be sure to make time to come see this show. This will definitely be the big piece de, de resistance of the BTE season. And then closing out the Mac season is a show we've never had here before, and that's the Oak Ridge Boys. Yes, the guys who sing Elvira, and this is their 50th anniversary tour, and we're so happy to have them to close out our 35th anniversary. And it is the Oak sellout all over the country. They're American country legends, um, and they have sound that's just so rich and so fun to, to just listen to and sing along with. And you will not believe how many of their songs you know. It's just hit after hit after hit. And these legends know how to play a room and they know how to entertain. So we couldn't think of anything better than to celebrate their anniversary with the closing of our anniversary season. Thank you for taking the time to listen. Um, I will tell you, we're getting a lot of questions about how are we handling COVID. How we're handling COVID is we're following CDC recommendations, we're following the college's policies. And at this time, we're asking everybody to be masked. You cannot attend without wearing a mask. We have touchless ticketing, touchless scanners. We're gonna cut intermissions to avoid people mixing and mingling as much as we can. We anticipate that perhaps the college is going to institute um, a vaccine requirement that we'll have to show a vaccine card, or if you're not vaccinated, a proof of a negative test 72 hours, taken 72 hours before you attend. But we will keep you informed as we are informed. But at this time, all we ask is that you please wear a mask and enjoy the show. And we cannot wait to be back together again and celebrate our 35th anniversary season with you. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Tickets are on sale now. You can go online to www.atthemac.org, or you can call the box office at 630-942-4000. Thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you back at the Mac.